Hey everyone, and welcome back to HIV RNA Test Guide Podcast. You know, we're all about making sure you have the info you need to make informed decisions about HIV testing. With access to over 4,500 labs across the U.S., now, something we talk about a lot is treatment, especially since early detection can mean getting on effective treatment sooner, and for years that's meant ART antiretroviral therapy. It's been a game changer, no doubt, allowing folks to live long, healthy lives with HIV, but it does come with a lifetime of pills and potential side effects. Yeah, it's true. RT is incredibly effective, but it doesn't eliminate the virus entirely. So imagine the possibilities if we could shift the conversation from managing HIV to potentially curing it. That's what has me so fascinated by this new research into AGT-103T. It's a completely different approach to HIV treatment, and some experts believe it could be revolutionary. Right now, RT basically puts the virus on pause, preventing it from replicating. But AGT-103T is designed to reprogram your immune system, specifically the T cells, to actually target and destroy HIV-infected cells. So instead of just suppressing the virus, you're training the body to fight back on its own. Exactly. Think of it like this. LAR is like taking medication to control high blood pressure. It manages the symptoms, but doesn't address the underlying cause. AGT-103T aims to be more like a surgery that fixes the problem at its source. Okay, now you've got me really picturing this. Mm. How does this reprogramming actually work? Are we talking science fiction level stuff here? It is cutting edge for sure, but not quite sci-fi. AGT-103T is a type of gene therapy. It works by introducing a modified gene into a person's T cells. This new gene essentially provides those cells with a blueprint to identify and attack HIV-infected cells. It's like equipping your immune system with a specialized weapon specifically designed to target HIV. So it's like rewriting the code of our immune cells to recognize and eliminate the virus. It's incredible. It is a remarkable approach, and if successful, it could offer a functional cure, meaning the virus would be controlled long term, potentially even a lifetime, without the need for continuous treatment. Imagine the impact on someone's life, no more daily pills, potentially fewer side effects, and possibly even a reduction in the stigma associated with HIV. That's the dream, isn't it? But let's be realistic, there are always potential downsides with any new treatment, right? What are the risks we're talking about here? Well, it's important to remember AGT-103T is still in early clinical trials. We need more data to fully understand the long-term safety and effectiveness. One concern with gene therapy is the potential for unintended consequences. For example, the modified T cells could mistakenly attack healthy cells, leading to autoimmune reactions. So there's a need for caution and continued research. We can't get ahead of ourselves and assume it's a magic bullet just yet. Exactly. It's all about weighing the potential benefits against the potential risks. And that's where the early trial results become so intriguing. So spill the tea. What are the scientists seeing so far? You remember, these are early small-scale trials, but in some participants, we've seen a significant improvement in their immune responses after receiving AGT-103T. We're talking measurable increases in the number of T cells specifically targeting HIV. Their bodies are showing signs of learning to control the virus more effectively. That's amazing. So it's not just a theory. There are actual signs that this approach could work. Does that mean it's smooth sailing from here on out? Not quite. It's important to remember that not everyone in the trials experienced the same level of benefit, and there's still so much we don't know. Like, what, what are the big questions still hanging out there? Well, we need to see how long these positive immune responses last. Will people need repeat treatments? How do different individuals respond to the therapy? And then there's the big question of long-term safety. Will those modified T cells continue to work as intended years, even decades down the line? So a lot more research and larger trials are definitely needed before we can say with certainty that AGT-103T will live up to the hype. Absolutely, science takes time. But even with those caveats, the early findings are incredibly encouraging. They suggest that AGT-103T could be a significant leap forward in how we treat HIV. And they've definitely spurred a ton of excitement and investment in this area of research. Which is why, even with all the wait and see caveats, I still find this so fascinating. It feels like we're standing on the edge of a major breakthrough, oh, right? It does feel that way. If AGT-103T or a similar therapy proves successful, it could change the lives of millions. But it also raises a whole bunch of new questions and considerations. Like what, what sorts of things do we need to think about as this technology develops? Well, there's the cost factor. Gene therapies are notoriously expensive if AGT-103T works. How do we ensure it's accessible to everyone, not just those who can afford it? That's a huge point. A cure that only the wealthy can access wouldn't be much of a victory. Exactly. And then there are the societal and ethical implications. How will a potential cure impact HIV stigma? Will people still be motivated to get tested and practice prevention if they believe a cure is readily available? Those are really thought-provoking questions. It seems like a potential cure 
while incredibly exciting, could also have unintended consequences we need to be prepared for. It's a complex issue and one that we'll need to navigate carefully as the science progresses, but I think it's a good problem to have. In a sense, it means we're moving towards a future where HIV might not be the life-altering diagnosis it is today. So it's a future full of hope and potential, but also one that requires a lot of thoughtful consideration. Absolutely. And I think that's a great place to pause for now we've covered a lot of ground from the basic science of AGT 103T to the very real questions it raises about access cost and the future of HIV prevention and treatment. You're telling me it's been a whirlwind of information, but mm -hmm. so, so fascinating. Before we move on, I just want to remind our listeners, you know, we're here at HIV RNA Test Guide because we believe knowledge is power. Wow. And that's especially true when it comes to your health. I couldn't agree more knowing your status is the first step in taking control of your health. And for those of you in the United States, remember that HIV RNA Test Guide offers over 4,500 plus testing labs across the country. It's a fantastic resource for finding confidential and reliable testing options near you. And remember, early detection is key to accessing effective treatment, including those potentially groundbreaking therapies we've been discussing today. Okay, so let's take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll delve deeper into some of the expert opinions on AGT 103T and what the future might hold for this potential game changer. Don't go anywhere. You know, it's interesting to think about how much progress has been made in HIV treatment just a few decades ago, and HIV diagnosis was considered a death sentence now. With arts, people with HIV can live long, healthy lives. And with AGT 103T on the horizon, we may be on the verge of an even bigger breakthrough. It's truly mind-blowing when you put it in perspective like that. But you brought up a really important point earlier about access and cost. Gene therapies have this reputation for being incredibly expensive and for good reason. Mm. So realistically, how much could a treatment like AGT 103T cost? That's the million dollar question, quite literally. Current estimates suggest that the upfront cost for AGT 103T could be anywhere from hundreds of thousands to potentially over a million dollars per treatment. Wow, that's a steep price tag. It's hard to imagine that being accessible to most people. You're right. Cost is a major barrier to widespread adoption of any new therapy, especially gene therapies. But it's important to remember that the initial price tag doesn't tell the whole story. What do you mean? Well, think about the lifetime cost of managing HIV with RT. You have the cost of the medications themselves, which can vary depending on the specific drugs and insurance coverage. Then there are regular doctor's visits, lab tests to monitor viral load and immune function and potential costs associated with managing side effects. All of that adds up over time. So you're saying that even though AGT 103T has a high initial cost, it could potentially save money in the long run by eliminating the need for ongoing RT treatment. Exactly. If AGT 103T proves to be a functional cure, it could potentially pay for itself over time by reducing or eliminating those ongoing healthcare costs associated with HIV management. Of course, that's assuming it works as intended and provides long lasting viral control. Okay, so there's a potential economic argument to be made, but that doesn't address the immediate issue of affordability for individuals. How do we bridge that gap? That's where things get complicated. It will likely require a multifaceted approach involving government subsidies, insurance coverage negotiations, and potentially even philanthropic support. We need to find creative solutions to ensure that this potential breakthrough isn't limited to only those who can afford it. It sounds like there's a lot of work to be done, not just in the lab, but in terms of policy and advocacy to make sure this treatment, if it proves successful, reaches the people who need it most. Absolutely, scientific advancements are only part of the equation. We also need to address the social and economic factors that can limit access to healthcare. It's a reminder that healthcare is about more than just the science. It's about people. Well said. And speaking of people, let's shift gears for a moment and talk about some of the expert opinions out there regarding AGT 103T. As you can imagine, this new therapy has generated a lot of buzz in the scientific community. I bet. What are the researchers saying? Is everyone on board with the hype or are there some skeptics out there? As with any groundbreaking new therapy, there's a range of opinions. Some scientists are incredibly excited about AGT 103T's potential. They believe it could be the key to finally achieving a functional cure for HIV, something that was once considered unimaginable. It's hard not to get swept up in the excitement, but I'm guessing not everyone is convinced just yet. That's right. There are also some scientists who are more cautious. They point out that we're still in the early stages of research and there's a lot more we need to learn about AGT-103T's long-term safety and effectiveness. 
They emphasize the need for larger, longer-term trials to confirm the initial findings and to assess the therapy's durability. So it's a healthy mix of optimism and caution, which is probably appropriate for any new medical breakthrough. Exactly. It's important to be hopeful, but also to temper expectations until we have more data. But even the most cautious researchers acknowledge that AGC-103T represents a significant step forward in HIV treatment research. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of finding a cure for this complex virus. It's inspiring to see how far we've come from the darkest days of the HIV epidemic to this point where we're talking about potential cures. It truly is, and it underscores the importance of continued research and investment in HIV science. Mm -hmm. We've made remarkable progress, but there's still much work to be done. Okay, so we've talked about the potential cost we've heard from the experts, but let's bring it back to our listeners here at HIV RNA Test Guide. Mm -hmm. What does all of this mean for people who are thinking about getting tested or who are newly diagnosed or even those who have been living with HIV for years? That's a great question. I think the most important message is one of hope. The fact that we're even having this conversation about potential cures is a testament to the incredible advancements in HIV research. It means that the future for people living with HIV is brighter than ever before. It's a powerful reminder that science is constantly evolving and that there's always reason to be hopeful. But I imagine some people might hear about a potential cure and think, well, if there's a cure on the horizon, maybe I don't need to worry about getting tested or taking precautions. That's a valid concern, and it's something we need to address head on. It's crucial to remember that AGT-103T, even if it proves successful, is not a magic bullet. It's not a reason to abandon safe sex practices or to delay getting tested. Early detection and treatment remain crucial for maintaining good health and preventing the spread of HIV. Right, it's not a free pass. We still need to be responsible and proactive about our health. Exactly. And even if AGT-103T becomes widely available, it's likely to be a complex treatment with its own set of considerations and potential side effects. It's not something to be taken lightly. So the message is clear. AGT-103T is an exciting development, but it doesn't change the fundamentals of HIV prevention and care. Absolutely. Knowing your status, getting tested regularly, and practicing safe sex remain as important as ever. And for those who are living with HIV, RT continues to be the gold standard for treatment. It's what's allowing people to live long, healthy lives today. It's true. RT has transformed the landscape of HIV, and it will continue to play a vital role even as new therapies emerge. So to sum it all up, hope is on the horizon. But we still need to be vigilant and informed. I think that's a perfect way to put it. Okay, so we've talked about cost expert opinions and what this means for people thinking about testing right now. But here's something that's been swirling in my mind throughout this whole conversation. We've spent a lot of time focusing on AGT-103T as a treatment for people already living with HIV. Right, that's its main focus in current trials. Exactly. But one of the things that makes HIV so unique compared to other viruses is the fact that we have these incredibly effective prevention tools like Pre-Free-P. Absolutely. Pre-Free-P has been a game changer in its own right. So I'm wondering, could a therapy like AGT-103T, if it does prove successful, actually change the way we think about and approach HIV prevention? That's a fascinating question and one that researchers are definitely exploring. It's still early days, but there's a lot of potential there. Like what? Give me the sci-fi possibilities here. Well, imagine a future where instead of taking a daily pill like Truvada or Descovy for P or PP, someone could receive a one-time or infrequent gene therapy treatment that would provide them with long-lasting protection against HIV. Whoa, so you're talking about basically engineering immunity to HIV at a cellular level. That would be incredible. It's a bold vision, and there would be significant hurdles to overcome. Safety would be paramount. We'd need to be absolutely sure that this type of gene therapy wouldn't have unintended consequences down the line. Of course, safety first, always. Mm. But theoretically, could this kind of preventative gene therapy actually work? Theoretically, yes. If AGT-103T proves successful in treating HIV, it stands to reason that a modified version of this therapy could be used to prevent infection in the first place. It would essentially be like giving your immune system a head start against HIV. It's like vaccinating your cells against the virus. That would be revolutionary, not just for individuals, but for public health on a global scale. It has the potential to be truly transformative. Imagine a world where HIV transmission rates plummet because people have access to this kind of long-lasting protection. It almost sounds too good to be true, but then again, so did the idea of a functional cure just a few years ago. It's a reminder that science is constantly pushing boundaries and that what seems impossible today could become a reality tomorrow. Okay, 
I officially have goosebumps now, but let's bring it back down to earth for a moment. Even if this long-acting pre-P through gene therapy does become a reality, there are going to be challenges, right? Of course, there are always challenges. With any new technology, cost is going to be a major factor, just as it is with AGT-103T as a treatment. We'll need to find ways to make this preventative therapy accessible to everyone, not just a privileged few. And even with something as revolutionary as a long-acting pre-BP, wouldn't we still need to emphasize the importance of regular testing? Absolutely no preventative measure is 100%. Foolproof testing will always be essential for knowing your status and making informed decisions about your health. And as we've discussed before, early detection remains crucial for effective treatment, even in the context of a potential cure. Right. It's not a get out of jail free card responsibility and awareness still matter. Exactly. No matter how advanced our technology becomes, we can't lose sight of the human element of healthcare. Well said. So to sum it all up, it yeah. sounds like AGT 103T, while still in its early stages, represents a potential paradigm shift, not just in HIV treatment, but potentially in HIV prevention as well. I think that's a fair assessment. We're witnessing a pivotal moment in the fight against HIV. It's definitely given me a lot to think about, and I hope our listeners are feeling just as inspired and informed as I am. Me too. It's been a truly engaging conversation. Well, thank you again for joining us today and sharing your expertise. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show. The pleasure was all mine. Thank you for having me. And to our listeners, thank you for tuning in to this deep dive into AGT-103T and the future of HIV treatment. We hope you found this episode informative and maybe even a bit inspiring. Remember, knowledge is power, and staying conformed is the best way to advocate for your health and well-being. And as always, if you're in the U.S. and looking for HIV testing options, please visit HIVRNATestGuide.com to find a reliable and confidential testing lab near you. Early detection is key, and it's a step you can take today to protect your health. That's right. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and stay well.